What's up guys, Sam Stang, and today I'm gonna tell you why you should get the 2019 uh, Mustang Bullet. Now, reason number one, uh, if you are a collector of sorts or a, just a big time Bullet fan, uh, like Subaru, WRX fan, or Matt Moran Motoring, the guy's been talking about getting a Bullet for a very long time, and I'm pretty sure he's very psyched about this being released, and I heard he had a deposit on it. Um, but if you are a big fan or you like to just collect special Mustangs or cars in general, this is definitely something that the value is going to skyrocket a little bit on as time goes on. And I do believe it's going to be a one year thing. It's not going to be something that's going to be reoccurring over and over, uh, over the next two years or so. It's going to be one year and it's done. Um, so reason number two, people who like stock cars, but don't really like the mod that much. Now, they like to do simple mod-ons, but nothing that changes the car crazy just to get some power out of it. Now, you can do this with a regular 2018 Mustang or any type of Mustang at all, but on the 2019 Bullet Mustang, you are having a classic and it just looks nice in general and you don't have to do anything to enjoy it. And it simply comes fully loaded up as it is, which brings us to reason three. Now, it has Recaro seats. The interior is absolutely amazing in it. Um, you still get the 12-inch digital cluster. You get the active exhaust, I'm sure of. Um, you get the navigation. You get ventilated heated seats. You get everything in that car. Maybe might not be the ventilated part because it's Recaro seats. Who knows, not exactly sure, but you get the idea that I'm going here. Uh, the car is pretty loaded up and you can be comfortable with it for a very long time and not really want to do anything with it. And that brings us to our fourth reason, and you don't just want a Shelby. You just don't want a high horsepower car. You want something that's reliable and really fast, but you don't want something that's so crazy that insurance is gonna be high, or it's just gonna be really hard to control. Now, that's very few people, but still that is a reason why, nonetheless, if you don't like too powerful cars, but you like special cars in the first place. So it's like someone buying a Z52 or Z51, whatever it is, package for the Corvette. Now, they like the fact that it goes fast and everything, but they don't want the Z06, and I'm pretty sure they can afford it. Maybe. That's usually how it goes if you're buying a Corvette. Um, but brings us to reason number five. These vehicles are going to be limited. Like I said before earlier on, they're probably going to sell this just for 2019 edition, and they're not going to be a 2020 bullet. It's not going to be any of that. Um, after that, it's going to be the GT500. It's time to shine, and... That's probably something that people don't want, something that people will absolutely lose their mind over. But sometimes it's best just to have a classic that's just special. And you know it is. Even if someone else doesn't, you know it's special. Uh, looking at these two here, right side to side, obviously the color is a little bit different. The one on the left has actually been beaten uh, quite a bit and they haven't touched anything. So that's the original paint on it versus how it looked originally and they try to recreate that. But stepping back into the interior here, you can see the car is completely debadged. It's a performance packed Mustang without the spoiler on it. And it gives it that discreet yet special look to it. So you know there's something special about this car. You see the chrome, uh, chrome grill surround and the blacked out grill, no pony badge. You hop inside and there's no Mustang pony on it. It just says bullet right there with the little bullseye on it. And the 12 inch instrument cluster and the um, premium whole interior really ambient lighting you got the oil pressure engages and everything so this is just that car if you want to feel special don't really want to mod too much you can obviously if you wanted to but this is a collector's car or just something that you would like to have in general so if you think these are valid reasons or if you have anything else to say uh, as an input go ahead and leave it in the comments below and i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you here next time and i'll do a video on a gt500 very soon take it easy